Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor, and today we're going to work some density problems. But first, let's just refresh our memories as to what density is. The definition of density is an object's mass divided by its volume. And we know that density is a physical property of a substance. So each substance will have a characteristic density. Density is also temperature dependent. And that's because volume changes with temperature. And we know that density is dependent on both mass and volume. The SI unit for density is the kilogram per meter. But in chemistry, we usually use units of grams per milliliter or grams per liter. Also, uh, note that we have grams per cubic centimeter here. Remember, a milliliter is equal to a cubic centimeter. Now, we can use density as a conversion factor, and we'll be doing some of that a little bit later. Um, but for now, we're just going to work a few uh, density problems. Now, if I know the density and the volume of an object, I can determine its mass. If I know the mass and the density, I can determine the volume. So let's go ahead and do a couple of density problems. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this problem. Uh, we're told that one side of a metal cube measures 1.44 inches. And we're asked, what is the density of the metal in grams per cubic centimeter? The metal cube has a mass of 434 grams. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is write out my definition of density, and density is mass over volume. And I also want to make sure that I get the units correct. So we have the mass, which is 434 grams, and we don't have the volume, although we're given a hint here. We're told that one side of this cube measures 1.44 inches. Well, we know that the volume of a cube is just the length of the side cubed, okay? Now, here I'm in inches. I want to be in cubic centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the 1.44 inches into centimeters before I cube it. So we know that one inch is 2.54 centimeters. Our inches cancel. 3.65 76 centimeters. Okay, notice I underlined this digit here. I'm uh, keeping track of significant figures. But I'm just going to go ahead and use all of the digits here in my calculation. So now I'm ready to cube this. So 3.6576 cubed. Oops, and I forgot the, um, the unit here. Always include your units, and then that way you can see exactly what's going on. And let's see here. That's going to be 48.93 cubic centimeters. Okay? So now I have my volume. I have my volume, my mass. So now I can calculate the density. So the density is the mass, which is 434 grams over the volume, which is 48.93 cubic centimeters. And let's see, 434 divided by volume. And that gives us 8.87 grams per cubic centimeter. All right, let's take a look at another problem here. And here we're told that a student needs 25 grams of ethanol for an experiment. What volume of ethanol in milliliters will the student measure out for her experiment? The density of ethanol is 0.78 grams per milliliters. OK, again, I'll just write out the definition of density. So that's mass over volume. OK. So here we're given the density, and we're also given the mass. So what we need is the volume. So we'll go ahead and solve this for volume. So the volume is going to be equal to the mass divided by the density. 
And again, I'll check and make sure my units are correct. Yes, um, my mass is in grams. My um, density is in grams per milliliters. And um, I do want to know the volume in milliliters. So the mass then is 25 grams. And we'll divide that by the density, which is 0.789 grams per milliliter. Grams cancel. We're left with milliliters. 25 divided by 0.789. And that's going to give us 31.68 milliliters. Now, I've only got um, two significant figures here. So I'm going to round this up to 32 milliliters.